tilt, right? But it tends to walk, correct? It will never touch. May I know what's this value? It's always one, right? Because when x is 0, this is one, right? Okay, now, can you all look at page 96? Sorry, not 96, 103. The first graph. The graph of y equals to ax, where a equal to 0 and a not equals to 1 are as follows. First one, a equal to 1, you will have like that, right? How come a cannot be 1 also? Do you agree that when a is 1, it's a straight line? Like that, there's no curve. Okay, now, look at the second one. It goes like that. Okay? And they say A is between what? 0 and 1. That means A is a fraction type. Between 0 and 1. Now, I just want to tell you this thing. Because a lot of students are confused. Now, between 0 and 1, can it be 1 third? No. Between 0 and 1, can it be 1 third, Ferris? For now. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm speechless about that. Speechless. Okay, what's one third? Here, right? Yeah. So anything will be that, huh? Okay, now, if I have one third raised to power x, huh? I want everybody to think about here, huh? is actually 3 minus 1 to the power x, right? Which is equivalent to what? 3 minus x, right? All these are equivalent. Okay, but because that one, let me change this to 3x. Is it okay? You also look like that, right? So, if I have this one, x is actually equivalent to this one. Understand what I'm talking about? Can you please write this down? This, 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 that equivalent. Okay. So, what's the moral of the story? This is 3x, right? It's actually like that. When it is 3 negative x. Which means it's the same as 1 third x. I will take down this third one. On page 1, you will see. All of you take this down. Because a lot of people are confused. Understand? They think that between 0 and 1, that is something different. It's not. It's actually the same. It's the other side. So, why is the line of symmetry? That means y axis is the line of symmetry, right? Can you see what I'm talking about? So, it's nothing fantastic. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes or no? Okay, so I repeat. Huh? If the number is bigger than 1, I will have like that. When the number is between 0 and 1, I will have the other way. Understand? Huh? So that is why page 103. They have that two diagrams there. Are we okay? Yes or no? Now, for exponential curve, right? Usually we we'll use it for very fast increase. For example, COVID cases. Very fast increase, right? The people. And for this one, decrease, uh, usually we use for uh, what do you call it? Radioactive decay. You know, next time we remove physics, we remove radioactive decay, half life, and so on. We will decrease the decrease. Always. Yeah. Understand? So it's also exponential decrease. Huh? Now, next, can you look at page 103 in the middle after the graphs? By observing the graphs of y equals to ax, when a is bigger than 0, exponential growth occurs, that means very fast growth. When a is between 0 and 1, exponential decay occurs. Now, all the graphs of y equals to ax intersect the y-axis at 1. At 1, uh, at the point 0, 1. Are you clear? Because anything to the power of 0 is what? 1. Okay. Now is the time that I want to show you. Can you look at example 7? And all of you look at example 7. Okay, y equals to 2.5x. The question says, on a separate diagram, sketch each of the following graphs. How do you think this will look like? This will be what? Like that, right? Alright. Y equals to 
0.5x. What is this point? What? But I want you to add in one more point for me. What if x is 1? It will be what? 2.5. You understand? This is actually to show how steep the line will be. I mean the curve will be. Understand what I'm saying? Okay, next, let's take a look at the second one. How come this thing got that thing? I'll be right until you like to Okay, come. Y equals to one third x. Now I told you this is three minus x, right? Okay? Correct. So how will it look like? It will go the other way, right? All right. It will cut at where? When x is zero. When x is zero, it's still what? One, right? Now I want to know what if x is one. Huh? What if x is 1? 1 over 3. That means it's below here. This will be 1 over 3. Is that clear? Understand? Okay. Now, what my requirement is, you must show me the y intercept and when it is 1, where's the point? Is that clear? Okay. Now, next one. y equals to ex. Now, what's the value of e? Where's the value of What's the value of 2 or not? 2 or not? You, oh, you have EX, so you put E power 1. What is it? 2 or not? You don't give me a word and answer. 7 or what? 7 or 1? 8, blah 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 blah, right? Alright, okay. Now, is this bigger than 0? Yes. So, you will have this, okay? This will be 1, right? When it's 1, what is this value? It's E, right? Correct, and E is 2 point something something. Are we all clear? Are we all clear here? Yes or no? Okay, good. Now you know how to sketch, huh? Now I'm going to ask you one question here. One last thing. What if I have like this? It will also be like this. I did it in E max before, huh? But what's here? It will be 3. Is that clear? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, 0 to power of 0 is actually 1. That's what we learned in university. But it depends on how the lecturer defines it. Don't worry about it. 0 to power of 0 is actually 1. And 3 to the power of 0 is to me, that's what my lecturer told me. Okay, next up, I want you to do this on full step paper. I'm not going to fill up the content page first. Huh? Just one question for me. Full step exercise 5.2. I want you to sketch the graph of. 1A, B, and C. Okay? Now, some people have a habit of squeezing all your graph together. This is what I want to do. You write 1A, Y equals to 4X. Then you draw for me. Understand? Now, I want this as 1. How about when it is 1? What is my Y? When x is 1, what's my y? Oh, 4. Is that clear? I want to see this. How is that? When you sketch. Now, of course, a, b, and c are not enough. Please take out a pencil. I want to write. 